Do you eat critters? You know that feeling you get when you dust your game with glitter? Yeah, the best feeling ever. Don't be jealous of your buddy at deer camp that has the glitter. All new Mullet Man Critter Glitter is available now. Frog legs, turtle, skunk, and raccoon have never tasted better. Here at the Mullet Man, we would even say it makes the best deer steaks taste even better. Yeah, better than your grandma's fried deer steaks on a cold winter night after you just shot the biggest spike of your life. Don't leave your critters hanging. Get them some glitter. Well guys, the time has officially come and I am super excited to announce that our new spices have come out. We started out with a tiny little glass bottle and all because of you guys. We are now up to five spices. We had the original two, which was the Critter Glitter Fish and Fowl and the Critter Glitter Red. Now we have added three more and they are awesome. Along with the three new spices that we have, uh, we did a few changes to the Critter Glitter Fish and Fowl and the Critter Glitter Red. Uh, based on what you guys gave us as far as feedback, we went back and changed a few minor little things in these seasonings and they are better than ever. And another cool thing about all of these seasonings is unlike before, it is the same exact price, but the bottle is much bigger. So you're getting a lot more spice for the same exact price that we have charged since day one of coming out with these spices. So, so let's start with the Cajun. This is an awesome blend. Uh, it's like a lemony, zesty, spicy blend. Uh, we love it. Perfect for any seafood boils that you're doing or if you're just doing like a jambalaya or etouffee or really whatever you want to put it on because I put uh, all kinds of spices that aren't meant for certain foods on them. So it even says on the side, anything Cajun needs some of this glitter. Mud bug, shrimp, fish, gator, frog legs, and all the swampy critters will taste better with a little dusting. Glitter up Cajun style. And uh, I like our colors. Got our Mardi Gras colors and a crawfish on the label as well. So uh, super awesome spice there. Then we'll move over to our next spice. This is our steak. Uh, it is just an all around good seasoning. Uh, we, we actually do use it for a lot more than just steak, but we figured it is uh, pretty much the best baseline steak seasoning that there is, so we named it after the steak. Beef in mind, we came up with a glitter to bring out the best in your slab of bovine. It works great on all red meat and domestic and wild. So if you like cooking steaks, especially if you like cooking elk steaks and deer steaks, this is the one for you. I'm gonna jumble these up and go on to my personal favorite. I love them all, but this has got to be my favorite out of all five spices, and this is the Critter All. We have a gator, an elk, an oryx, some turkey, some sheep. We got everything on this bottle, and uh, it reads, if it comes out of the ground, flies, walks, or slithers, you throw some of this on it. This is the go-to spice. This unique flavor pairs great with everything. And when I say everything, we have been using it these past few months, testing all these spices, and uh, this is the one that I go to every single time. It's just like a good, it kind of reminds me of like a Greek spice, uh, but we absolutely love it. And uh, like I said, these are in eight ounce bottles. And then we have our two originals, the Fish and Fowl and the Critter Glitter Red. The red is more of like a chili based spice. It goes great with, uh, I like to use it in the winter time when you're cold and you want to snuggle by the fire and eat a good dinner. You put some Critter Glitter Red in there and then our fish and fowl, my dad likes to say, and uh, I support him on this, that this is the number one best-selling, all-time favorite blackening seasoning in the world. This is the best fish blackening seasoning ever. Uh, but we also put it on our chicken and wild turkey, and it is fabulous on those as well. So there is our lineup of spices. Uh, Father's Day is coming very soon. If y'all are looking for an awesome gift to give your, your dad or your grandpa, Get them some of these spices, I promise you they will use them and they will love them. We are doing a bundle of five. If you buy five bottles, you get one of those bottles free. So basically buy four, get one free. 
and you'll end up with all five or you can pick and choose if you want two of one flavor and three of another you can do that or you can get one of each or you can also do a mix and match bundle of two which is what we've done in the past since we've only had two uh, you could order uh, one of each spice and get a bundle of two and save some money there so you can still do that as well but uh, I recommend you trying all five. If you haven't tried the fish and fowl and the red, which is our two original spices, uh, I suggest you trying those as well. Especially if you like to cook wild game, uh, go ahead and grab all five because you're going to use them and they are delicious. So oh, I'm glad I finally got to introduce you to our new spices. My dad and I have been working on these for months. There's so much that goes into making something uh, that you think is perfect and something that you want to sell to thousands of people. Um, I'm so grateful that uh, all of you guys have subscribed and supported this channel and Spice has honestly been a huge part of uh, this channel and honestly income. So uh, every bottle that's bought by you guys and all the people that come back after buying a bottle and repurchasing it because they love it so much that means a ton to me and my dad and, and my family. Um, and I'm super pumped to uh, bring you some new spices. So once again, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And uh, you can find these on moltman.net. Uh, like I said, you can get a bundle of five or you can do, uh, or you can just go get one bottle. Anything helps out and I hope you guys enjoy them. If y'all use them, take pictures and tag me on Instagram and I will reshare it. I love to see what you guys cook up with our spices. So they are live right now on the website. Uh, we did our best to get as many bottles produced as possible, so I'll go get a bottle while you can. We stocked up as many as we can, but we are producing more right now, so just in case we sell out, we will have them up as soon as possible. Your order's out as soon as they come in, so y'all go check out moltman.net, get you some spices, and eat good. Yep, it is that time of year again. Time to get the new Botex dialed, so... I am headed to Alvarado Archery. It's my local bow shop. Guys are really cool over there. And uh, I got two bows from Bowtech. I'm gonna set both of them up. Uh, I got two because I want a backup when I'm out in the woods. So I gotta grab all of this stuff. I'm only gonna take one. The second bow I really just need the sight and my peep and my D loop tied on. So and my drop away rest. So I'm gonna load all this stuff up in the truck. I'm gonna head over to Alvarado Archery. And uh, I also got another cool bow I'm bringing them. It's my dad's very first bow ever. And it just so happens to be a Bowtech. Let's see what brand or what model this was. It's the Bowtech. Well, all the writing on the model and everything is gone. Extreme Solo. So my dad wanted me to take it over there and get a bunch of stuff done to it. He's going to try to hunt with it again. Which I think is pretty cool. So... We get all this stuff loaded up, and I'll see you guys when we get to the bow shop. And uh, I'm going to show you how a professional sets up a bow, because to be honest, I'm really not good with, with bows other than pulling the trigger. I don't know a whole lot about bows, um, and I don't ever really work on them. I just take them to these guys and let them do it the right way so I don't mess anything up. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Well, we made it. The man himself is going to build the bows. <laughs> what are all these? Mission Bowtech. Here we go. Oh, that's the SS. Oh, I guess that's Yeah, there's it. a few last years. Yeah. Just a little rundown. We are shooting the CP28. He said that it's the, the baddest new bow out. So. It's a good bow. That's what we're going with. We got two of them, one back up. We're setting one up fully. The other one we're just gonna put a sight and drop away rest on just in case one of these fails during the season. But we got the black gold pro sight. This is, you said it's the dovetail? Yeah, it is. So you dovetail. can just pull it back, pull it out um, when you put it in your case and stuff. That way it doesn't get banged around. 
and uh, I think it'd be too long for my case anyway. So, yeah. got the black gold pro sight, the new tight spot, one piece quiver. I only brought one of those. Dude, I oh, really? Y'all haven't got them? Uh -uh. We got some on order. Those things are sweet. So, we got that, and then we have the Octane, the new Octane uh, rod stabilizer. And then we are putting the Ripcord Max on there. We got a Ripcord Max and a Ripcord Core Red. So, super pumped to try these out. But I'm just going to film y'all. I'm going to film him, and uh, I'll let him explain what stuff is being done because I don't know anything about bows, like I said earlier. So, come back here. First things first is drop away rest. And then what, the D-loop and the yeah, peep? I'll, I'll do the rest first, and the D-loop, and then I'll probably go ahead and set the draw length and all that. Cool. And then we'll have you try it out, and then we can get to the, make sure it's all tuned, paper tuned, all that, and then we'll get to the site. Yep, and then we're gonna call our buddy over at Ironwell Broadheads, and give him our speed and arrow weight, all of our arrow setup, and then he's gonna build my broadheads based on uh, the arrow setup that we're gonna go with, so. Y'all stay tuned, enjoy, and uh, hopefully you'll learn something. So we are going with a blue for our D-loop, and uh, all the accents will be this color. I don't know why I chose this color, but what we went with. All right, what are we doing now? I'm on just, I'm on thread this here cord through the string real quick and then I'll set, set the draw length and we can shoot it. So we got the D-loop on, drop away rest, he's about to attach the drop away rest and uh, then we'll shoot it. What is your draw length? 27 and a half. 27 and a half. They, Botech puts three screws in their mods so they're all sectioned off, so typically you gotta take all of them out if you're going any more than like two inches. So you can change the draw length without it being can, on a bow press. Oh yeah, yeah, you can change it. You can change it whenever you want. You don't need a press for, most bows now, you don't need a press, but see, we gotta take this stop out first. Make sure it's at 70. Make sure it's at 70 and check the timing and everything. So we're getting a right tear. So if you're getting a right tear, I already got the rest pre-centered up. So we're gonna move that cam to the right. That's what's nice about these Botex is that it's basically just like shimming. And that locks it in place. And it's just an all thread rod that goes through that axle. Makes it super easy to tune. So you just do the top? Yeah, I just do the top. If it's a big tear like that, and it's way off, then I'll do the top and bottom, but that's so close. Oh my God, that's almost money. Do it one more time. That's money right there. That's pretty freaking good right there. 
Show the, show the camera. Show the camera. He wants y'all to see his tuning job. Look at that. <laughs> mm, perfect. <laughs> And then the peep, we got pretty much everything on beside the peep. Got the stabilizer, drop layer rest, black gold sight, peeps going on. And then we're gonna go side her in. And then we gotta build the second bow. Thirty yards, getting her dialed on. Oh, we're at two hundred seventy. Two hundred seventy. What's happening, man? What's up? Just uh, making a little lunch myself over here. Nice. All right. Oh yeah. So what do you need from us? So from you, I need to know what arrow you're shooting and what total upfront weight you want, including okay. inserts, broadheads, collars. We do a 25 grain hit insert with a 25 grain impact collar so it matches that 50. Yep. Okay. And then you can keep using the 100 grain broadheads. That'll work. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Right Thanks, Eric. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Yep, Catch appreciate you later. it. See ya. Bye. All right, guys. There you have it. If you all want to shoot Iron Wheel, they will set you up with everything you need. You just tell them uh, your arrow setup and they'll hook you up from there. So ironwheels.com y'all go check them out well guys that is how that is what my bow setup is for this season we got two of them we got a backup i think we're ready huge shout out to the guys over at alvarado archery they're awesome and uh didn't take long at all to get that done so super pumped and huge shout out to iron will my buddy eric over at iron will hooks it up and uh I absolutely love their broadheads. So uh, those broadheads and inserts and stuff will be coming in in uh, a week or so. I'll show y'all whenever I get these new arrows in and uh, he's gonna build them out and put the same fletchings that I did last year, gray fletching. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Y'all leave in the comments what y'all's bow setup is this year and what, what uh, archery hunt y'all have lined up for this year. So love to hear what y'all are going on. Just again, don't forget that the spice is live. Y'all go check it out. Get you some spice. Moleman.net, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.